Aston Martin Red Bull Racing's driver pairing is one of the strongest in the pit lane, and this month sees them back in action for the start of the new F1 season in Melbourne, the home race for Daniel Ricciardo. I think starting the F1 season, there's so much hype, there's so much build up. Me being the only Australian on the grid now, it's like extra attention and extra questioning for me. And oh, how are you going to go? How's this? You got the home support. So look, it's a lot. It's fun. It's cool. But uh, I normally leave that weekend feeling uh, like I need 48 hours of just pure serenity and quietness. <laughs> to be honest, I always enjoy going there because I mean, I like the country, it's good time, which is normally everybody is very passionate about racing in general, Formula One. That's great history. I've been in Sydney and Melbourne. I like both cities, you know, so to explore the country a bit more is always great. Max Verstappen's teammate had the honor of being the first to explore the team's new RB14 Challenger. There are high hopes that an evolution of the car which took them to three victories in 2017 will elevate them to greater success this year. Driving the car for the first time, even on a, on a filming day, is, is still sweet because, you know, you, you hear it fired up, you see it with all the body on and, and yeah, I get to drive it out the pit. So I think with the car, you know, if, if I look at the RB14 in February compared to the RB13 in February, you know, a year on, the side pods so much more detailed. I can tell you getting into the car is a lot harder because there's a lot more aerodynamic stuff going on. The real enthusiasts will see it like that, and they'll say, that's different, that's different. From a more obvious point of view, uh, the shark fins are gone this year. Um, obviously, everyone's got the halo. The new halo cockpit safety device will make its debut in Melbourne on the five kilometer public road circuit around Albert Park Lake. To see if he's as quick on the draw as he is on the track, we asked Verstappen to sketch the circuit layout from memory, and local man Ricardo was pleasantly surprised by the result. I think he's done pretty well. Um, clean lines, joined it all up. I mean, he only left school six months ago or something, so he's still pretty handy with his arts and crafts. It's not the easiest track to, to overtake. Uh, of course, you know, we try our very best to, to, to make it happen, but yeah, somehow the straights are not long enough and the corners leading up to the straight are a bit of 90 degree, and that's not the best corner leading up to a straight to, to make a pass. The fastest section is turns 11 and 12, uh, the left, quick left right hander. They are very cool uh, to take, especially in qualifying with low fuel. Uh, six gear, seven gear, uh, corners, so I think 270 kilometers an hour. Sometimes braking zones get a bit more difficult to see because of the trees, of course, hanging over it, or like shadows in general. You know, that's quite normal on the street circuit, but it's definitely a bit more challenging for us to get it right. Verstappen and Ricardo will aim to send an early championship message to the rest of the field. Wins at the circuit have so far eluded them, but a new season brings new hope. Hopefully again, you know, this year we will make a step forward, but I just hope we are very competitive. I mean, yeah, it would be great to have a victory, but I hope that we have a fast car for the rest of the season from there onwards. So that's, I guess, in general, the most important. Melbourne's been pretty up and down. In 2017, it was a combination of, of my errors and then misfortune. I crashed in qualifying and then we had technical problems for the race. So all of us were kind of putting our hand up last year saying, oh, my fault, my fault. Uh, so yeah, now. 2018, uh, I think it's time to get what we deserve in Melbourne. We'll get what we come for. That sounds better.